A piece of Princess Diana's iconic legacy is set to be auctioned off. Sotheby's announced on Monday that Lady Di's famous black sheep sweater will be sold this September in New York City. In June 1981, Diana wore the legendary top to King Charles' summer polo match shortly after they got engaged. The red sweater decorated with a whimsical black and white sheep motif was one of the first pieces created by Warm and Wonderful's Sally Muir and Joanna Osborne. More than four decades later, the designers said they found her original sheep sweater in a box, and now the piece will headline Sotheby's inaugural fashion icon's sale. It's estimated to be worth $50,000 to $80,000. According to Cynthia Holton, Sotheby's global head of fashion and accessories, the late royal's style still captivates fans, saying, by combining high-end designer pieces with more attainable everyday apparel, Diana's style led to a wave of imitation and admiration, which remains steadfast to this day. Leaving an indelible mark on the fashion world and solidifying the princess as an icon in fashion history, this exceptional garment, meticulously preserved, carries the whisper of Princess Diana's grace, charm, and her keen eye for fashion. It's an honor to offer this historic sweater in our our inaugural fashion icons auction, placing it in the dialogue with other memorable and culturally important items of clothing. The former Princess of Wales has remained a fashion inspiration to many throughout the years. In August 2022, Access Hollywood looked back at some of her most memorable style moments. Diana's style evolved markedly from her courtship with Charles to her life as a princess. Though she was soon to be an international style icon, author of HRH, So Many Thoughts on Royal Style, Elizabeth Holmes says then 19-year-old Lady Diana Spencer was still finding her fashion footing when she picked out this blue suit for her engagement photo with Prince Charles in 1981. The suit itself is, is kind of formal and a little ill-fitting, and I think it sort of shows how naive she was, perhaps. I see very much a 19-year-old woman who's trying to look more grown up, who's trying to play the part of a member of the royal family. But just one month before the royal wedding, it was clear that Diana was born to stand out. While cheering on Prince Charles at a polo match, the soon-to-be princess made waves with her interesting outfit choice. One of Diana's most memorable outfits was the infamous black sheep sweater. It's a red sweater covered in white sheep, and then there's that single black sheep. And it's it sort of says everything right there, you know, that, that she is not part of the flock. The royal tour of Australia and New Zealand in 1983 was a real turning point for both Diana and her fashion. It was all beautiful. I mean, it was like filled with texture and color and soft and romantic. Welcomed by crowds of well-wishers, Diana made sure her tour wardrobe was just as functional as it was fashionable. She needed a wardrobe that could keep up with her duties, and that meant reaching her hand out or crouching down to hug a kid. She was doing her best on the world stage. Two years later, her marriage to Prince Charles began to deteriorate and a bolder Diana emerged. Her flashy new fashion earning her a nickname inspired by a popular TV drama. Her clothes screamed, look at me, and she got nicknamed Dynasty Die with her you know, sequins and her big shoulders and her flashy outfits. But it was after her divorce that Diana had one of her most iconic style moments ever. Dubbed the revenge dress, Diana wore this tight black look on the night Prince Charles admitted on TV that he'd been unfaithful. Her personal butler, Paul Burrell, told us how she wound up choosing it. I pulled out the Christina Stambolian dress and I said, this is what you're going to wear. She slipped into it and I zipped it up and it looked a million dollars. So I watched the news that night and I see this vision and I think, oh, I put a note on her pillow that night, well done girl, I'm so proud of you.